Hi and welcome to a new video. Do you keep getting a prompt that your Apple ID has not yet been used in the iTunes Store when you try to download something from the App Store? In this video, I will show you how to fix the issue so that you can proceed with your download. Let's go! Keep in mind that this notification is simply a reminder from Apple to update your payment and shipping information. This often occurs if you recently registered a new Apple ID and have not yet provided your billing and shipping information. Thus, Apple will not let you download anything until you have reviewed your account. Therefore, the first step is to complete your information and provide your billing account details. When you attempt to download an app, a notification will appear prompting you to review your account. Click on Review, then follow the on-screen instructions to proceed. Normally, it will just ask you to agree to the app's terms and conditions. Afterwards, provide your payment method. You can choose to provide your PayPal account or debit and credit card details. But if you don't plan to make any purchase from the store, simply select None from the given options. Next, provide a valid shipping address. Upon providing all the necessary information, you should now be able to download apps without any problem. If for some reason you can't seem to find the Review button from the prompt or it just displays a blank page, you can update your payment and shipping details directly from your Settings. Open Settings. Tap on your Apple ID and select Payment and Shipping. Then make sure to provide your credit or debit card details and shipping address as well. Don't worry, as long as you don't make a purchase, you won't be charged anything. If both methods still don't allow your downloads and some unexpected errors show up, the next best thing to do is to update your iOS version. When error codes keep displaying, this may be caused by some software glitches from the previous iOS version, which the Apple developers may have probably resolved already. So, to acquire the new updates and bug fixes, make sure to install the most recent version of iOS. To do this, go to Settings, navigate to General, and choose Software Update. And that's it! If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye!